Warriors, we are live from the quarantine zone. And uh, welcome to your Thursday strength workout. Um, we are going to be doing some awesome uh, skill set strength stuff and some Tabatas because uh, we're just so in love with Tabatas right now. Um, story of the day is about, it's actually, um, some of you might have heard this story before. It's uh, my, fa one of my well, actually my favorite tree. I will, I will actually put that out there and say I have a favorite tree. And that would be the ginkgo. Um, for many, many different reasons, um, I love the ginkgo. But um, the, one, of the, one of the reasons why I fell in love with the ginkgo was because um, I ran into this gardener years ago and he was describing to me how the ginkgo came to be. So the, uh, the ginkgo is a deciduous tree, so it's a leafy tree, but it started off as a conifer um, or a tree with needles, like a pine tree. Um, uh, one day the pine tree decided that it uh, no longer wanted to be just a needle, and so it decided to unfurl its needle into the first leaf, which was the ginkgo tree. Um, I am sure if you Google this, this is accurate. Um, science. <laughs> um, Anyway, um, I love that idea of, of evolution and change when needed. Um, there must have been something on the planet at that time where um, the conifer needed to become deciduous uh, for survival, and it did, and that seems like a perfect story right now for uh, where we're at with um, the current climate with uh, this, this craziness that's out there. Uh, we're trying to build these, these really, really great behaviors just to keep us surviving through this and to keep us really, really strong. One of the beautiful things about um, the ginkgo is that it's disease resistant uh, because it's, um, its molecules and its cells are so tightly packed. Um, and, uh, um, and that's one of the reasons why it survived um, the nuclear bomb in Hiroshima. And uh, again, it's just, it's such a fantastic tree to um, use as a symbol um, for the time and how we need to evolve and grow and keep going. We're gonna get into our mobility right now. All right, so I am going to start with a Cossack stretch. So I'm going to lean forward, push my heel, um, my butt back onto my heel, and then go forward. Push my butt back onto my heel and rock forward. So I'm gonna do that about 10 times. I am up on my toe in the back, and I am being very, very, very gentle with, the, with that groin, all right? Just moving back and forth, just trying to get those hips to warm up. Josh, can you put on some music? Yeah. After I've rocked, rocked back and forth about 10 times, I am gonna go to the other side. And again, I am being really gentle, getting a nice little wrist flexion stretch. Getting my groin to warm up, my hips to warm up. All right, now I'm gonna go into my yoga windmill. So I'm going to come into this high plank. I am going to bring my foot next to my hand. I am going to reach forward. I'm reaching up. I'm turning my hand out. I'm turning my hand to the back as I rotate my shoulder, following my hand with my eye. I'm gonna bring my elbow down to the floor into the world's greatest stretch. My back leg is pulling to that back wall. My front knee is pulling towards the front wall. I'm gonna come back into my high plank. I'm gonna switch it out to the other side. I'm gonna reach forward with my hand. I'm gonna rotate my hand around. My shoulder rotates. My eyes follow my hand. I'm gonna come in with my elbow reaching down to the ground, breathing as I do this. I am going to go one more on each side, reaching, 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 rotating to the back wall, coming back in, into my world's greatest stretch. Back one more time on the other side, rotating, reaching, Making sure those legs maintain tension the entire time. Bringing that elbow to the ground. Coming into my high plank. All right, next we're gonna go into seven way hips. Now, I am going to lay on my side. So guys, we're gonna give 
our hips a little help because we've been sitting a lot more than we probably ever, ever have in our lives. So I'm gonna lay on my side. My whole body is stacked in alignment. My um, ankles are aligned with my knees, which are aligned with my hips, which are aligned with my shoulders. Putting my hand out in front to brace my body. I am going to lift my leg about 10 to 12 inches. I'm not lifting it super high, but I am gonna lift it about 10 times maintaining tension in that leg, keeping that leg straight, going up and down, breathing as I do this. My foot is dorsal flexed, pointing towards that front wall. After I do that 10 times, I'm gonna maintain distance between my feet and I'm gonna go from center to forward, center to forward, 10 times. And again, I'm not, this is not a huge movement. This is a slight movement. 10 times forward. Ten. And then I'm going to go 10 times back. So center to back, center to back. Feeling that tension in my glute, maintaining that distance between my feet. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now. I'm gonna go fully forward to all the way back. Fully forward to all the way back. Again, these are not big movements. We are being very concentrated with our movements and our hips. You might start to feel this. Your hip might start to be warming up right now. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, I'm gonna do 10 hip circles forward so straight leg, dorsal flexed foot, bringing my foot forward 10 times in these small controlled circles. Seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, going back for 10. Still doing those leg circles. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, then I'm going to do a big bicycle for dessert. Big, huge bicycle, getting that full range of motion with it. 10 times. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Holy hips, Batman. All right, let's switch it out to the other side. Laying on my side bringing my hand in front of me so I don't fall forward, but keeping my body entirely stacked from ankles to head. All right, and I'm just gonna do that leg lift 10 times. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Center to forward, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Center to back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fully forward to fully back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah, nine, and ten. Here we go with our hip circles forward. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Going backward. Two, one, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, big, huge bicycle. Ooh, thank you hips. Thank you for doing all the things that you do on a daily basis. Hey, we're gonna treat you good 
by doing some of these seven-way hips. I know you love it. Good medicine, guys. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, yeah. All right. So let's get ready to start our skill strength. <laughs> what we're going to do is five reps of Snurpees, and then we're going to do five reps of speed push-ups, and then we're going to rest for 45 seconds. So for our Snurpees, what is a Snurpee, you ask? A Snurpee is either just a sit down on the ground if you have a hard time doing a pistol squat, or if you're okay with doing a pistol squat, you're going to bring one leg out, and then you're going to come all the way down to the ground. Then what you're going to do is you're going to lie down on your back, you're gonna come forward into a knee grab where you grab your shins, bringing your shoulders over your hips at the top, coming back down to end your knee grab. Then you're gonna roll over onto your belly. You're gonna pop up. Now you're facing the opposite wall. So then I'm gonna do my either just sit down on the ground or I'm gonna do my pistol squat. I'm gonna do my knee grab. I'm rolling over into the other direction. I'm popping up. That's two. So we're gonna be doing five of those. And then we're gonna be going into our speed push-up. Now I am able to do a, a strict push-up, but in order to do speed, I'm gonna need an elevated surface just so I can go fast. So I can't do a strict push-up really fast, and I want this to be fast. So I'm gonna to come to my pretend couch or my pretend coffee table, and I'm keeping my elbows in, my butt is slightly raised. Don't lose those abs, guys. Don't let that butt come down. Keep, keep that butt slightly up. I'm gonna come all the way down and up. So trying to be explosive with this really, really fast, making sure to touch that chest down, keeping those elbows in um, either close to your body or at a 45. Don't bring your elbows up. We don't wanna put that strain on our shoulders, okay? So we're gonna do six sets of these. After we're done with our Snurpees and our pushups, we're gonna rest for 45 seconds and then we're gonna go back into it, all right? So let's go ahead and start going into my Snurpee, coming down to the ground, coming into my knee grab, rolling over, popping up. That's one. Coming down to the ground. Oops, forgot to do my pistol. Here we go. Into my knee grab, rolling over, popping up. That's two. Pistol squat, coming down, knee grab, rolling over. That is three. Pistol squat, coming down, knee grab, rolling over, up, that is four. Pistol squat, coming down to the ground, doing my knee grab, rolling over, popping up, and that is five. All right, and then we're gonna go into our speed push-up. So, coming to my elevated surface, just five guys, as fast as you can. Three, four, five, woo! All right, resting for 45 seconds. Make sure that's on. All right, so now would be an awesome time to grab some water. Whoo, okay. We have five more sets of those to go. Getting a little bit more rest. Again, guys, when you're doing your Snurpees, you can either come down to the ground and uh, then go into your knee grab, or you can do your pistol squat where one leg is elevated, okay? And we're gonna start again here in about five seconds. All right, trying to switch out. If you are doing the pistol squat, switch out those legs each time. I think I did my left leg like three times last time. All right, coming down, going into my knee grab, rolling over, pop up. Coming down, knee grab. Roll over, hop up, uh, that's two. Down, knee grab, roll over, pop up, that's three. Squatting down, coming up, rolling over, popping up, there we go. Coming down, knee grab, rolling over, up, and that is five, going right into my speed push-ups. Boom, two, three, four, five. Full range of motion with that, guys. Getting that chest to touch that surface. 45 seconds of rest. Again, I highly suggest 
grabbing some water. Ooh, catching our breath. I'm still feeling those pistol squats that we did on Tuesday. Really feeling it in my glutes, in the back of my hamstrings. Really felt it when I woke up this morning and tried to get out of bed. Oh, felt alive. All right. So we have about 10 seconds left before we go back into it. All right, guys, you got this. Be the ginkgo. Unfurl. You got this, all right? Coming down to the ground. That was not very graceful. <laughs> Rolling over. Coming up. It's one. Coming down to the ground. Hua. Knee grab. That is two. Pistol squat into knee grab. Rolling over. It's three. Ah. Rolling over. It's four. Whoo. Here we go. Coming up. Rolling over. That is five. Going right into our speed push ups. Two, three, four, five. Yes, we've done three so far. All right, guys, catch your breath. You get 45 seconds of rest. We have three more to do. With that, we got this. I know we got this. All right, just got to give ourselves some rest so that we're strong for the next uh, set. All right. Okay, guys, we're going in about five more seconds. Here we go with round four, coming down. Ah, knee grab, rolling over, coming up. One, coming down, coming up, rolling over. That is two, down, into our knee grab, rolling over. It's three, down. You can always go faster than me, or if you need to take more time, take more time. If you're getting super gassed, just go ahead and pause it. Whoops. It's four, oh, that's five. All right, guys, speed, push-ups. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. All right, so that was our fourth round, we have two more to go. We are resting for 45 seconds. All right. Guys, it looks beautiful out there today. Sun shining, it's huge for Portland, right? Seems like we've had some pretty good weather this week. Hopefully that'll continue so we can get out there, get our 15 minutes of outdoor time. So you're collecting your points for your team, for the quarantine challenge that we started on Monday. Here we go, guys, going into our Snurpees. Down, knee grab, rolling over, coming up, down, into our knee grab, rolling over, and up, coming down, into our knee grab. This is three. This is four, whew, going over and up. Ha ha, I might have lost count. The previous circuit might have shorted you a couple. You're welcome, it's five. All right, going into our push-ups. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, all right, we got our last set coming up. Last set! And uh, starting again in 45 seconds. Ah, I really like this quarantine challenge, guys. It's really helping me drink the two liters of water that I need to drink, making me be really mindful. I'm trying to get those seven to eight hours of sleep, I'm trying to get 15 minutes of reading in a day, I'm trying to keep on track so I can stay highly motivated 
throughout this crazy, crazy time. All right, here we go, guys. Pistol squat, knee grab. Roll it over, come up. Switching out my legs. Going into my knee grab. Rolling over, up, that's two. Ha ha. Going over, it's three. Come down, going into my knee grab. Rolling over and up, that is four. One more, counted it right this time. Yay me, coming up, ha ha. Speed push-ups, here we go. Boom, two, three, four, five, yes. All right, guys, next we're gonna go into our Tabata strength. So for that, you're gonna need a set of dumbbells if you have them. If you don't, just grab something that has some weight to it. Like we keep saying, grab your cat, as if your cat really likes to work out with you. Maybe you have one of those cats, you know, that would be awesome. Um, also, you can, you can grab a resistance band and use that instead of the dumbbells if you need to. Or if you have one of the kettlebells, you can use that. Um, again, I used those bleach bottles a couple weeks ago. Those were great. Um, so while you're resting, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, demonstrate this next, this next part of our circuit. So what I'm gonna do is prisoner squats, our favorite. Putting my hands behind my head, coming down, trying to make sure that I'm getting to at least parallel with my hip to my knee, if not a little bit lower, pointing those toes out, making room with my feet so that I am able to get those hips to pass down and trying hard to not fold over, trying to stay as upright as possible. Now, some of our physiologies are such that we actually get pushed forward as we do that. That's fine. Just kind of resist the urge so that you're as upright as possible for you. So when we're doing the Tabata, we're going to do 20 seconds of those. If you want to make this harder, go ahead and grab a dumbbell and you don't have to do the prisoner squats. You can do a goblet squat. So you can put the dumbbell in your hands, come down and up or grab the kettlebell and do the same thing. Then guys, we're going to grab a couple dumbbells, weights, kettlebell, whatever you have. We're going to go into our overhead press. When I'm in my overhead press, my elbows are in at the bottom. They come out at the top, in at the bottom, out at the top. My legs aren't wide with this. They're just slightly parted for stability, keeping those glutes on. My legs are locked, coming up and down. Elbows down at the bottom, out at the top, and back down. All right, if you don't have dumbbells, but you have a resistance band, you can stand on your resistance band, put it across your palms, come up and down, up and down, all right? So you can use that, you can use your kettlebell, whatever you got, all right. So we are gonna go into this Tabata, which means we're gonna do 20 seconds of prisoner squats, rest for 10 seconds, do 20 seconds of overhead press, rest for 10 seconds. We're gonna do that for four minutes. If you're new to this or you're just not feeling awesome today, you can always skip around, all right? Because I want you to collect yourself, I want you to get your breath so that you're not super gassed throughout this. You will feel taxed, but I don't want you to feel like you've pushed yourself too, too far, all right? So we're gonna be starting here in three, two, one, and we're going right into our prisoner squats. Just 20 seconds, guys, 20 seconds. Really try hard to get that depth. Really try hard to lock out those hips at the top, squeezing those glutes at the top, bringing that pelvis forward. Ha, two, one. Going into my overhead press. Got about five more seconds of rest. All right, and we're going. So I'm not going fast with this. I'm going slow and controlled. All right, squeezing those glutes, keeping the pillar of my body really strong. So that means from my floor, of my, the, my, from my feet, to my butt, my buttocks, to my core, everything's on. Going back into my squats, my prisoner squats, or my goblet squats, whatever you have, whatever you feel like doing. 
Okay, and we're going. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't know why I'm counting. It's just habit. <laughs> okay, we got one second. Here we go. All right. 10 seconds of rest, guys. <laughs> we're going into it. And now. You can grab anything with these guys for these overhead press. Anything that has a little bit of weight to it, like a closed detergent bottle or kitty litter. Those are usually heavy. Ooh, really feeling this. And going back into my prisoner squats. Okay, three seconds left of rest. Putting my hands behind my head and going for it. I'm not gonna count this time because it does not matter. All that matters is that we're doing 20 seconds of work. Ha ha. You got this. I know you got this. Because you are a warrior. And if warriors need to, they will rest. Because what are we doing here? Only perfect form. Don't give me anything sloppy. All right? Squeezy, squeezies, those glutes, guys. Keeping those abs on. Whoa. Ha. Really feeling this. Sarah asked for some dumbbells. Here you go, Sarah. Here's some dumbbell exercises. Whew. Two. One. Yes. All right, guys. This is my last set of each exercise. Last set! All right. And we're going for it. Two. Oh, there I go. I count. I'm counting. Stop counting. <laughs> All right, guys. Five seconds. You got this. Ha ha. And overhead press. Oh, I don't know about you. My allergies are going nuts. All right. Going for it. Pressing. Ha ha. This is Josh is coming towards me. He has this constant look at, that he's lost something on his face. <laughs> Good morning to you too, Josh. <laughs> I did not do the other workout. I was saving myself for this workout. <laughs> All right, guys, we got about 90 seconds of rest. Just so you know, we have two other um, sets with this circuit. So next we're going to be doing our uh, lateral lunge and our curls. So you rest, get some water. I'm going to go ahead and demo. All right. So for my for my next um, Tabata, I'm going to be doing a lateral lunge. So I'm going to lunge out to the side. I'm going to come back in. Lunging out to the side, coming back in. Now, if I want to make this harder, I could always grab some weights and be in this front rack position, bringing my butt out to the back as I do this. All right? So I'll show you what that looks like from the side. So I'm really extending my butt out, keeping my chest as flat as possible so I'm not curving my back. I'm not losing those lats. I'm staying in those lats and then I'm stepping in. I'm stepping out, bringing my butt back and coming in. All right, so we got our lateral lunges. And then we got some curls. Guys, I only want good curls and I don't want fast curls. I want slow and controlled curls. So for my curls, same exact thing as the upper head press. My feet are on the narrow side, my glutes are on. I'm bringing those dumbbells up all the way down, all right? So I don't want to do these three quarter poopy curls. I want to come into a full extension, come all the way up and then all the way down with that, all right? If you have a resistance band, again, you can stand on it. If you need a little bit more resistance, you can always cross it over in the front, curl it and come back down, curl it and come back down. Or grab your cat or those bleach bottles, whatever you got, all right? The other thing is if your weights are heavy, I don't want you swinging it, all right? When you're, when you're doing those curls. 
I want you to keep your body completely in line, all right? So we're gonna be going back into our Tabatas now, all right? Going into our lateral lunges. We're starting in three, two, one, and my lateral lunge. And up, stepping out, and in. Bringing that butt to that back wall, all right? Getting that really nice extension. I want you to bend this leg, straighten that leg, all right? Make sure the one leg stays bent, the other leg stays straight. Okay, going into my curls. Yeah, it's gonna be a burner. Even with light weights, guys, this is still a burner, all right? And we're going, but I want you to go slow and controlled with this, all right? I want you to really feel this all the way through those biceps. I want you to feel this in the glutes. I remember somebody who started training for Warriors, I think it was about a year ago. I'm like, God, you guys talk about your glutes all the time. It's like, they are so important for everything. All right. Guys, we're going three, two, one. Lateral lunge and return. Lateral lunge, step it out. Lateral lunge, stepping it out. You got this. I want you to put all that weight into that lead leg, stepping out, and then that, le that lead leg brings your body back in, all right? You're not pushing off with that other leg, you're letting this leg draw you back in. All right, got my, my curls again, yay! All right, two, one, here we go. Full extension, guys, keeping those glutes on, trying to get those arms ready for bikini season, right, Bob? All right, we got four seconds left. Yes, going back into our lateral lunges. Hey guys, this time I think I'm gonna start, I'm gonna do it with a, with a dumbbell. I can either hold it here, I can hold it here, you can hold it down, whatever feels more comfortable for you as you do this, all right? Slow and controlled. Making sure to put that weight in that lead leg, all right? That's the form with this. All right. Going back into our curls. Yay! Getting those arms moving. Here we go. Awesome. Uh, okay guys, five seconds left. Two, one, all right. This is our last set of each of these exercises. So, last set! Thank you. Here we go. My lateral lunge, lateral lunge. I forgot to grab my goblet or my dumbbell, but that's okay. Cause I'm getting a lot of work out of these right now. We've got three seconds left, guys. Here we go. Nice. Going back into my curls. Last set of curls. You got this. Yes. Ha 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 ha. Full extension. With those arms to be straight at the bottom. All right. Two, one. Yes. All right. Okay, guys. Grab water. I'm going to talk through the last set of Tabatas. So for our last set of Tabatas, we have split squats and we're gonna do X crunches. So for my split squat, I wanna have that toe, I wanna to be up on my toe in the back. That toe, that heel is always elevated in this. All right, I'm gonna come down. I'm gonna bring my knee to about an inch off the ground and then I'm gonna come back up again. So it's okay if my knee extends over my heel. That is fine. But we used to think that we couldn't do that. It would cause knee injury. Actually, you're losing ankle mobility if you don't bring that knee over that 
ankle. So new studies have found that this is okay. All right, so coming down and up. I want you to squeeze those legs and those glutes at the top. Go completely straight with that, all right? So we'll do the one leg during the one part of the circuit, then we'll switch it out to the other leg the next time we come back to that, that exercise again. If you wanna make this a little bit harder, you can grab your dumbbells. Again, that toe is up, or that heel is up in the back. Coming all the way down, squeeze at the top. All the way down, squeeze at the top, all right? Then, guys, I'm gonna go into my X crunch. So we're gonna do an ab exercise with this one. So my legs are out straight, my arms are out straight. I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna try to touch my toes, and then I'm gonna come back down again. So arms and legs are straight the entire time that I'm doing this, and I'm trying to do this controlled. So what I'm trying not to do is I'm trying not to throw myself forward with it, okay? Again, we don't have to go fast with this. I just want you to be in control as you're doing it, all right? So going into our last set of Tabatas, Ha 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 ha, our last circuit, part of the circuit. So we are starting in three, two, one, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna do these with my dumbbells, really locking out those legs at the top. This is one of my favorite exercises in the gym because I feel like I feel every molecule, every cell, in my legs as I do that. Then guys, we're going into our X crunch, X force, ha ha. All right, here we go. Don, touch those toes. You're almost there, baby. I know you got this, ha ha. We've been working on this mobility for so long. Let's try really hard to reach forward and touch those toes. Okay, all right. Guys, let's switch it out to our other side. So, coming up on that toe. Down and squeezing out, locking out at the top. Make sure you're breathing. Exhale up, inhale at the top. Exhale on the up, staying up on that toe in the back. Nice. All right. X crunch. Woohoo. Getting a little ab time in here. Yes. Got this. Haha. -ha. I love these X crunches. It's one of my favorite of all the ab exercises that we do in here. All right, switching it out guys. Going to our other side. Making sure getting the correct side. Whew, squeezing, squeezing. Ha, ah. ha. Ah. If you find these hard, you are right. They are hard especially if you're doing them correctly. All right, going into my X crunch. Captain crunch, X crunch, ha ha. Really extend, keeping those legs straight. Chris Bowden the entire time, reaching forward and back down, reaching forward and back down. All right. Here we go, guys. This is our last set for each of these exercises. So this would be our best set. Always save your best for last. So that's what is imprinted in your mind. Nothing crappy, guys. I'd rather have you stop and rest than do any crappy reps. All right, X crunches. One more time. You got this. Ha 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 ha. Whew. Heart rate is up. OK, 
Okay, we've got about four seconds left. Yay. That was awesome. Okay, guys, let's get some water. I'm gonna rest for a couple seconds. And then we're gonna go into everybody's favorite part of the workout, our homework. All right. So move some of this stuff out of my way. So, our homework is going to be 20 squats, 10 knee grabs, 20 sim swimmers, all right? So just like in the beginning, you can choose, if you wanna make this harder, grab a dumbbell, grab a kettlebell, do a prisoner squat. I'm just gonna do a regular squat because I wanna knock these out faster, all right? So, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, aha, 20, here we go. Now, knee grabs, arms in close to the chest, legs are out straight at the bottom, coming forward, grabbing my shins with my hands, feet are flat at the top, coming back down. So, that is two, this is three, this is four, that's five, that's six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Again, guys, you can always go faster than me or you can go slower. It's totally up to you. If you needed to pause this before we got into the homework and rest a little bit longer, that's totally fine too. Guys, next we're going into our swimmers. So I'm laying on my belly, pushing those shoelaces into the ground. I'm gonna bring my arms forward. This is gonna be really, really great for posture. Bringing those hands forward, spreading out those fingers, pulling my hands in to my rib cage, getting that tension in those shoulder blades as they pull together and back out, in and out. Slightly lifting that torso, keeping those eyes and that head pretty neutral. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Woo! Ah. We did it! That was it! All right, my beautiful warriors. Our story today was about evolution and about what we need to do in order to get us on the right track at any given moment, no matter what craziness life throws at us. So think about that. Think about that, that ginkgo needle that decided to unfurl and fan itself out and become something completely different. Maybe the first week that you were quarantined at home or you were staying at home, maybe that first week it, you were just trying to get your bearings straight. Maybe you had a hard time working out. Maybe you had a hard time even sleeping. So maybe your sleep schedule got all wacky. And then maybe the second week you were like me and you really started to miss human beings and that contact with them. And he felt even more out of whack. And then now we're on the third week. So let's try to adjust. Let's try to evolve. Let's try to keep on a schedule. Let's try to hit all those things that we're doing in our quarantine challenge to make sure that we keep ourselves as strong as possible, physically, mentally, spiritually, everything that we gotta do in order to keep ourselves on track, yeah? Getting that gratitude in there, being thankful for the people around us who support us, being thankful for ourselves, for getting up, doing this workout, all right? Guys, we're here to help you bring forth the warrior within. Love you, meow, meow, meow.